Hello, my name is Daniel Miller and I am the workshop manager at Bernhardt House of Violins. And in this video, uh, I'm going to show you how to adjust and straighten a bridge. When your bridge gets knocked out of position, the first thing that you want to do is you want to take tension off the strings. So I've already taken the tension off. There's still a small bit of tension that uh, will also keep the sound post in place. The first thing you want to do, set the instrument in your lap, and then you need to grip the bridge in a way to where it's not going to slide out and from under the strings while you're moving it. So to grip the bridge, you use your thumbs and your middle fingers to pinch the feet of the bridge. And then we see here that the side to side alignment is off when we look at where the G string and the E string are sitting relative to the outside edge of the fingerboard. So pinching the feet of the bridge, we'll move it back into the center of the instrument. And then once we do that, we're gonna look at the points of the F holes and we want those to line up with roughly the midpoint of the bridge feet. So again, you'll grip the bridge. And in this case, we're pulling it backwards to where it's sitting with the point of the F hole pointed to the, the midpoint of the bridge foot. Very last thing, once you have it, once you're happy with the placement, the side to side placement and the front to back, placement is to check the angle of the bridge. If it's leaning backwards, if it's leaning forwards, uh, that needs to be corrected. Okay, so here we see that the bridge is leaning forward. Uh, we can see that by the space, the gaps between the foot and the top of the instrument. So to correct this, we'll again grip the feet of the bridge with our thumbs and middle fingers. And then with our index fingers, arrest those at the top corners of the bridge and slowly and gently pull the top of the bridge back until that gap is closed up. And you should be able to feel when the foot of the bridge is sitting evenly on the surface of the instrument. So we've just seen how to adjust a bridge on a violin or a viola. The same steps apply to a cello, but because it's a larger instrument, the way you do it's gonna be slightly different. So let me show you how to do that next. So adjusting a bridge on a cello, the concepts are the same, but the way that you do it is slightly different. I'm going to, in this case, hold the front side of the bridge with two or three fingers with my thumb pinching on the back side of the bridge. You can see here that it's off center. It's bumped to the C side of the instrument. And you can also see that it's leaning forward. And so in this case, when moving a cello bridge, it's easier to correct the lean before you actually move the bridge back into place. And then once it's in place, you might have to do some more corrections. But so at this point, gripping the bridge, I'm gonna go ahead and slowly pull it back towards sitting flush on the top of the instrument. Keeping in mind too, that we've also taken tension off the strings to where there is still some left, but to where it's easy to move the bridge. Okay, so we've corrected the lean. Now I'm gonna move it to get my side to side placement. And then I'll move it back into place where uh, the, the it's centered front to back, where the point of the F hole is aimed at the midway point of the bridge foot. The three important things to keep in mind when adjusting the bridge is uh, number one, holding the bridge, gripping it correctly so that it doesn't fly out. Um, the second thing is the side to side alignment, making sure that it's centered. And then the third thing is the front to back alignment where it sits in relation to the tailpiece and the fingerboard. And uh, always remember that if you are uncomfortable with moving the bridge at all, it's best to just send it into the shop and uh, let us do that for you.